All right, welcome back, everybody. You're watching Drum Smack live from the 2014 NAMM show. One of our first stops at the Mapex booth. We are with the artist and product development master guru, Mr. Joe Hibbs. Happy New Year, Joe. Very good morning. Welcome to the NAMM show. We're up, we're breathing, and we're alive. What's up? <laughs> hey, you know, just chilling. I, uh, I hear there's new things going on with Mapex yet again. What's, 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 what's the word on the street these days? What's going on? The big thing with Mapex this year is we have a lot of new product, but we have new product that's really got some benefits for the, I would say, the younger player, the player who doesn't necessarily want to spend a whole lot of tune, time learning how to tune his drum, but wants his drum to sound really, really good. He wants to buy a drum set, take it home, put on the headphones, tune a little bit, and go, wow, this kit sounds incredible. So all, all, right. our, all our mid-range product, what we have, what we have this year is a new bearing edge, which, you know, whether you're deep into drums or not deep into drums, we all know that the bearing edge can either make or break a drum set. It can make it e easier to tune, it can make it have a wider sound range. It can make the whole drum perform better. Sure. On most drums, the typical edge is a sharp 45, and a lot of them go all the way out to the end. The easiest way to show this kind of edge and how it reacts to a basic Remo drum head is you put it on there, and the head doesn't seat. The head doesn't seat. And when a head doesn't seat well, or the shell form doesn't go well with the head form, there's no way it's gonna tune easy. Yeah. There's no way you're gonna get the tuning range out of it. There's no you way you're gonna, you gotta crank it. And there's just so much that goes on yeah. that you spend more time tuning, less time playing. So the edge we've created is a 45 with a 3.8 back cut, and it's got a little flat spot on the top to really fit to a Remo drum head. And again, easiest demonstration, throw the same head on it. Oh, wow, completely flush. Completely seats. Wow. So what is this gonna mean to the 15, 16 year old kid who buys a drum set? He can take it home. He doesn't have to become a tuning expert, but he can get this drum head up and running and he can get his whole drum set up and running. And all of a sudden he's playing more and tuning less. Yeah. So all our mid-range product, which includes Armory Series drums, Mars Series drums, and Armory snare drums, wood models, they all have Sonic Clear bearing edge. So that's why we think our mid-range product is important, because it really helps cats get into the drum, make them sound great, and play immediately. And then with that rounded edge, Joe, is that actually going to make the drum have a little, even a little bit more warmer tone? Well, actually, it increases the tuning range because the head can react easier with the, with the fitted edge. It's gonna, yes, it's gonna give it more tone because there's more contact between the edge and okay. the shell. Right, all right. Okay, and we all know a lot of the way a drum sounds is the heads and the way they react. Right. So okay. yeah, so let's say, that, you know, the 13, 14 year old kid who bought a new kit, and you know when you buy a new kit, what you wanna do? You wanna go home and play the kit. Yeah. He'll be able to get his drum set up and running, sounding great, yeah. feeling great quicker. Yeah, so he great. can put on his favorite Led Zeppelin song, favorite Van Halen song, and he can rule. This, this Q, Q Led Zeppelin and hit shuffle. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this. Yeah. Now, we're, we're using Remo heads right now. Does this, uh, does it, how much does it change when you talk like Evans 360, Aquarian, the other guys? All of the heads sound great, fit great on these drums and you'll basically have the same effect, okay. okay? All the heads will seat better, which means you'll get more tone, right. and you don't necessarily have to become an expert at tuning. The whole point is to get you up and running, get the drum sounding sounding better quicker so you can play more. Yeah, fantastic. F, <laughs> welcome to the NAMM show, 2014. First time, it's so Dude. much fun, this is so exciting. Dude. <laughs> okay, we're blastered. How you All doing? right, so we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stay really close together. All right, Joe, we just saw this other series. Now we're we're at the uh, Armory series. We're is the that Armory series? This tell is us a little up, bit about it. Upper end of our mid range. It's a hybrid shell, and the layup is birch, maple, and birch. Again, it has a Sonic Clear bearing edge, 
So the drums are gonna tune up quick, they're gonna sound great, they're gonna feel really good, and they're gonna have a better tuning range. All the armory sets are lacquer finishes. This happens to be a Magna Red Sparkle with black plated hardware. All the, son all the armory sets, along with the Mars sets, come with Sonic Clear Tom suspension mounts, low mass bass drum claws. We're gonna walk around here right, real quick. Together. And they come with Sonic Clear floor Tom legs. And all the Sonic Clear features are features that are also found on our more expensive kits, which are called Saturn. Now the very, very cool thing about all Armory Series kits is they come standard with an Armory Series 14 by five and a half steel snare drum. Nice. These snare drums have a new piston throw off. Nice. Remo USA coated ambassador heads, which we all know is a standard basic head in the industry. They came with, come with Mapex exclusive tube lugs and Black Panther snare wires. Fantastic. Now the crazy thing, absolutely crazy. Say you go buy <laughs> this kit and in two weeks, you sort of decide the steel, steel snare drum is not what you dig. Well, you can take that snare drum, with, work with your dealer, or you can take the snare drum and send it back to Mapex, you pay for the shipping, send it back to Mapex, and you can choose from one of the other four Armory Series snare drums. Oh, wow. So okay? you have a choice. You have a choice. Fantastic. And we'll get to the snare drums in a minute, but no one does this. Uh, no one has given you the choice of the snare drums. And, you know, at the end of the day, the snare drum is sort of like the, the, the sole of the whole drum kit. Totally. Okay? So Armory Series snare, snares come with all Armory Series kits. You can always have Armory Series hardware with your kit. Hardware is available in black plated and chrome plated. Nice. Okay. Let's go Fantastic. Look at, let's go look a little earlier. I talked about the snare trade-in program. So let's go look at some snare drums. All right, now on the snare that. drums, I know uh, they're not all going to be five and a half by 14, right? You're going to have your choice. Six, oh, yeah. Basically, Armory Series snare drums, you can buy either in, separately or you can use them as a, get one of them from the trade-in of the kit. So for the Armory Series snare drums, we have a hybrid shell, which is birch and walnut. Fantastic. Or if you like a steel drum, a steel drum that's hammered, something that'll really knock everybody out. This is called a daisy cutter, mm. okay? Yeah, so that would be the, uh, the Tomahawk 14 by five and a half. Again, it's a drum that comes with all Armory Series kits. Okay. Okay. Six and a half by 14 steel. If you want, again, if you want to trade the drum in and you want an all maple drum, there's a 14 by five and a half maple called the Dillinger. Nice. And if you want a hybrid sound which, of maple and walnut, this is a 14 by five and a half and it's called the Peacemaker. Mm. So all of these four drums are available to trade in or buy separately. I can't even knock them over. <laughs> it's okay. The basic footprint that our pedals take up, you have a nine, you have a, a pedal that is close to, the model number is close to a thousand, right? Yeah, that yes. one. Okay. That one. The difference hits, between hits, ours hits. and a lot of pedals is the space we take up on the floor, it's a lot less. I see. Okay. Just as stable, it's just we're leaving less of a footprint. Uh, I see. And you know, as well as I do, like if you play a double bass drum pedal or it's even a single, some of the foot, some of the bass plates are so big yeah. that your snare stand has to go in a different position. I see. If you play a, if you play a single pedal, a double pedal next to your hi-hat stand, because of the bass plate size, the hi-hat stand starts going out to the left. Yeah. So it's taking up less space, all of a sudden, your snare stands can come in close. I could, I could attest to that because that's happened to me, stand. actually. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's trying to think a little bit smarter about the way a kit's set up and also physically what you have to do when you play yeah. so maybe you don't have to work so hard. Yeah. Or, as we say, play more. Play more. But, Joe, thank you so much, man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Hibbs, everybody. You're watching Drum Smack here on T-Radio V. Because without Cameron, 
we wouldn't be seen. That's right. <laughs> All right, you watch the Drum Smack here on T Radio V. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. And Drum Smack, the one and only Drum Smack. Drum Smack. Ready? 